Hi Sunshine Sparkle Faces, it's me, Mother Sparkle. I sincerely apologize for not making videos lately. I've been I've been sick, you guys, and I think it's because I'm traveling from like different climates. My body doesn't do well when I go from like hot to cold, hot to cold, and it really messes up my, you know, personal feng shui. So I've been sick and I'm trying to like get past it, but it's so hard. I usually drink like orange juice and eat like really spicy food to help me get better and sleep more and drink lots of fluids, but it's not working. So, um, you know, the world goes on and so do I, I guess. All right. So for those who follow me on social media, I know that I was recently in LA and Orange County. I was there doing a quick commercial. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because it's like secret right now. Um, but I was there and I'm not going to mention the company that I was working with either, but basically um, I was flown down and like put up in a hotel and like shoot this commercial, but something happened that I'm kind of like, this has never happened to me before and I wasn't even planning to make this video at all. I was just kind of like, okay, I'm going to bury the hatchet and just forget about it. Um, this video isn't to bash the company who hired me and brought me down or, or anything like that. Um, I, I'm just talking about my personal experience, I guess, about this hotel. But anyways, last week I was flown down to Los Angeles. I live in Vancouver, so it was about like a two and a half hour flight. And it wasn't so bad. I had a driver pick me up, which is really cool and super sweet because I'd have to find my own way around. And I hate traveling by myself. Like, I'm very codependent in that situation. Like, I'm a lost puppy if I'm alone. So I just hate, like, traveling alone and planning things. So um, it was nice of them to have a driver pick me up and drop me off at the hotel and we were talking in the car me and the driver and we were looking for this hotel it's called the Milner Hotel and I believe it's downtown Los Angeles now I know nothing about geography like I don't know what to expect like downtown LA I just you know LA Los Angeles the city of angels like you just think that it's beautiful and it's glamorous but I didn't know there, that there's like different parts I'm stupid like I thought Dubai was in India like I'm so dumb um, so I thought it was gonna be like some super beautiful cute like hotel I searched it like real quick and I saw like okay the outside looks really cute and all so we're like looking for it it's on Flower Street I'm like oh that sounds beautiful it sounds so chic and we pull up and I see this huge sign first that's the first thing I saw this huge sign on the side that says Milner I was like oh like that must be the hotel and I looked down and I'm like Oh, like where where are we? Like, are you sure we're in the right part of the town? Is is this the Milner Hotel? Not like the Milner, you know, um, meat shop. <laughs> For those who live in Vancouver, it was equivalent to Hasing Street. Okay, I was a little bit concerned for my safety. Um, there were there were like a lot of homeless people around and it looked like some shady characters, and I was just a little bit concerned. So I'm like, this is the one? She's like, this is the one. And I was like, okay, um, well, do I have to get out of the car <laughs> situation? So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to go in. It looked very, very old. And, you know, I'm not that much of a diva. I, I'm, I swear I'm not. I'm not like Mariah Carey. I'm not a princess at all like I'm very very easygoing I know people who work with different companies and you know I only fly first class that's not me okay I, I fly economy okay 13b next to Brenda and her freaking son okay I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth so I will take whatever is given to me or whatever opportunities has you know um, come to me anyways here I am downtown LA with my luggage and my LV handbag, super materialistic, I know. Walking into the hotel, you know, it's it's dated, it's, it's dated. And something about the place just seemed a little bit off. Like it was, um, I don't know, it, it was not a place that I would go to. But anyways, I check in and the woman gives me my card and I go up into my room. But first, before my room, I go into the elevator and I was like, okay, well, I guess this is it. I go in the elevator, it was like woody, it was kind of cold, and I was like, ugh. It was just weird, weird feeling. I'm getting goosebumps talking about it because it just like, it irks me. I go to my room and it is what I expect it to be because of, you know, the interior of the hotel. It was old, it was dated, it was cold. It was extra cold in that room and I was like, 
Like, this is not a good sign. And I'm sick. Like, I was sick back then, like last week, and I was like, I need heat. So I go looking for the heat. The heat's not working. So this heater AC does not work. Here is the on off button holding it nothing pressing it nothing i'm pressing the freaking ac like machine out the window and there's no other buttons in the room i'm searching the whole place it does not work there's no telephone in the room i'm like this is a nightmare um i open the window and my view was a brick wall that has been busted and like it just looked so bad here's a snap Snapchat clip of it. Take a look. This is If that is not questionable to you, like what is happening? No. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not joking. I, I'm not exaggerating. This really happened and I was like Lose my mind. I just got off a flight. I'm tired. I'm exhausted and I go into the washroom and I wanted to take like a nice hot bath and soak there but there was no bath and the shower was so small. It was like, I swear to God, if I like, if I was a bigger person, I probably would not fit in that shower. Um, so yeah. Mind you, I did not unpack my stuff. My luggage was still in the middle of the room. I sat on the bed and I just had a moment of self realization and was like, am I really going to go through with this? Like I, first of all, don't feel safe. The heat's not working. I will possibly die tonight in this room no joke and I was like I'm actually going to do a little bit of research on the hotel so I go on to see some reviews and surprise surprise one of the reviews said I would not wish this place on my worst enemy okay so I found that review it says I would not book this for my worst enemy this hotel claims that it's worth $300 a night. It was pretty expensive. I have noticed several things that I consider evidence of substandard accommodations, expired elevator permit, mold in my room, unsealed cracks in the wall and ceiling, dust, exposed sewage pipes in the room, evidence of leaks, etc. In the short two hours I've been here, front desk has, refu has refused to provide any remedy. Another review that I read that kind of like blew my mind and was like so gross was bed bugs. I'm not joking folks, like you can read this on thing, there's bed bugs. <sighs> is this my life? I was like, I'm going to die here tonight. I was like, forget it. I got up and I, you know, wanted to give it like a third chance and I was kind of scoping the place out. There's like lots of wires sticking around and this, listen you guys, this is the final straw that made me go nuts. I freaked out. Like usually I'll, I'll like, you know, bite my tongue, take whatever I can get, like very, you know, um, appreciative and humble, but I open the closet and it's a fucking cockroach. That closet looked like no one has ever set foot in there in a million years. It was cold, it was dark, there was like holes in the corner, there was like spider webs. I swear to God someone died in there. I'm not even joking. It was so gross. That was the last straw for me. I called out the agency and I was like, excuse me, like I just saw a cockroach. I'm, I cannot, I, I can't, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very concerned for my safety and my well-being in this hotel. I don't think I'm being a diva. I don't think I'm being Mariah Carey. I feel like this was a very valid you know, point and you know, would you want to stay in a place like that? I don't think so. I mean, so I'm on the phone with the agency and he's like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Let me call the front desk. Let's see what we, what I can do for you. Um, hangs up the phone. I'm sitting there like, oh my God, hurry up, hurry, hurry up. And then I get a call back saying, you can check out. We're going to get you another hotel. Get out of that place. And I was like, thank Jesus. Oh, I grab my luggage, I go downstairs, and I, it's so awkward because I'm like, oh crap, like they know, and what do I do? So I give them the card, like I'm very nice about it. I'm not like, how dare you? Like I'm not, like I'm not, like a biatch. And I was just like, I just give them my card, and she's like, you're good to go. That's it. There was like no apology. There was like, oh, was, like sorry, is there anything we can do? Nothing. It was like, you're good to go. That I swear to God, that was all they said. They're being so rude. I'm quite traumatized actually. I'm not even joking. Like that, I was like, am I getting punked or something? Like where are the cameras? Because 
honestly looked like it was something out of a horror movie set. No joke. Things are falling apart. Things are breaking. There's freaking bugs. And I'm just like, what is happening? Like, <laughs> After that, I walked my pretty little ass over to IHOP across the street and I sat there by myself and I ordered chicken strips and fries and a lemonade and I'm sitting there by myself in this very old diner looking place and I'm trying to get Wi-Fi but the building has no signal so I'm out of service and I need to get to my next hotel which is in Koreatown and I did more research on it it looked really nice. Um, so I ate my food and still no service I'm like great just just great all I want to do is download uber and get myself to the next hotel safe and sound okay so I'm here at the IHOP for like an hour and um, I walk out with my luggage everyone's staring at me like girl you don't look like you belong here um type kind of stare and so I'm like walking around the block and I'm like I need wi-fi my, my internet does not work I don't know what's going on I'm like I just need wi-fi so I'm walking around I'm lost it's like cold for me and I walk into a salon I'm like do you know where there's a Starbucks like I needed Starbucks um it's just like across the street so I walk across the street and use her wi-fi called an uber picked me up went to the new hotel the line a really nice hotel there was a full bath it was warm it was nice and yeah so there you have it my first ever hotel horror story <sighs> oh my gosh I can't believe I went through that ugh I want to hear your hotel horror stories if you have ever encountered something like that before but I was just thinking like this is going to be another episode of like Elisa Lam, Elisa Lam, like no joke, you know, an Asian girl from Vancouver, downtown LA in a hotel, I swear I was going to die, like, mm, scary. That is all, hope you guys are doing well, I need to get better so I'm going to blow my nose make some soup and take a hot bath. So I will catch you guys later. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.